What's up, guys? It's Sebastian of TH1 here, and we're back with more Nino Kuni 2 Revenant King. Last time, we went over to the, the city of Hydropolis and figured out that a few laws weren't quite right. And between last, uh, between that, we met the, the uh, Archean of that of that land, Leander, who is right here. He just uh, he threw us in jail because fucking. Evan staged a proposal. It's fucking crazy. Staged a proposal with Tani to get thrown in jail because love was forbidden there. Lo and behold, though, it was just a plan to get to talk to them. And we went to see the queen. The queen agreed to sign our pact, but she wanted us to kill something first. So we finally did. It dropped an item called the Sea Aether. I think I don't remember the name of the item. But, with that item, we went back and the queen was missing. Turns out, the giant whirlpool we saw going to that land was where the king's cradle was of that land. So we had to go all the way down to the king's cradle and f find out that Dolorin had taken the queen there and had been using her as a puppet. We not only saved her, but she lost her king's bond just like Pugnacious did. With that said, we are now on our way to fix, uh, not fix, um, to get, to upgrade our boat to get to the next place, Broadleaf. But before we do that, uh, I do want to mention I have done a few things between episodes. I've gotten a lot more people. Uh, we'll share that before we head out. But, um, the last thing we got for before we, uh, left Hydropolis is we found out the Queen, Nira, and Leander are in love with each other, and they promise his children to marry. Well, the thing that we got from the first beast that, uh, that she tasked us to kill before she went missing, that item declares the person to be rightful king. So she used that as a ploy to get him to marry her. So she's planning the marriage between him and her, but right now, we need to use help to get, get his help with this king. Well. So you know what we need, we just have to have Ketch begin his research on how the, and how our ships can be made to jump. Hey there! All set, your majesty. Put on some fucking pants, Ketch. Thank you! Your ship has been modified. You may only jump in Great Earth in the ocean. Jet. So it's the right spot displayed on the picture, and you'll fly over automatically. So one, two, three, four. So you got four areas where you can jump. They're very specific. All right, everything is look. Uh, everything is looking ship shape. Shall we get going? Before we set sail, what kind of country is this Broadleaf? I never ventured as far as Old Atom. Ottomania here, there. There's a kingdom founded on mysterious art known as science. Huh? Science? It means it means of manipulating the powers of nature, like like magic, but unlike it. I say. It is ruled by President Zip Victor, right? The inventor. He's some kind of genius, apparently. Thanks to his ingenuity, we, what began a small business has grown into a great industrial nation almost overnight. Alas, it seems things have not been going so well for him as of late. There have been reports of critical unrest and discontent among the populace. Mm. Hmm. Another kingdom of problems. Hmm. Something tells me we're about to walk into another fine mess. Oh, come on. Well, stop being so miserable. Let's get going, shall we? I, for one, can't wait to see the place. You're in my kingdom now, so this post is kind of stupid. Alright, so let's head outside for a moment. Uh. 
Ajá. Last time we had to get re rejuvenation, and I did that, and I also got spring lock. So we have that now. Level four. Let's do that. Uh, on top of this, I did open up another f facility, the uh, dimensional lab, which they're working on something. We've, upgrade, uh, we've got now the second tier of uh, Lofty's battle enhancements. We built the square, as you saw, and the Institute of Innovation. We upgraded these buildings here, and as you can see, I upgraded this building. Uh, you can see we have no, we now have Merfolk. How much do I need here? Not that. Yeah, we're close. We're close. Uh, the next time... I only need 2,000. We'll give it a few minutes. Um, but as you can see, as we go up, we have some people that have leveled up. Uh, Batu has finally leveled up to Master. There's nothing above Master, apparently. Close to veteran, but Hansel's new. He is new. Fido, you're a little blowing up. You're new. I told you we'd have he'd be with someone that comes to our kingdom. I fucking called it. He's new. He's new. But I just want to point this out. He's a sorcerer. He's got red hair. I think that's a uh, a design reference to Oliver because if you remember in the first game, Shadar kind of looked like that, just not as a merfolk. He's new. He's new. He's new. He's new. She's new, which... Is, this is the girl we need to reju rejuvenate to do. She's new. She's new. And that's it. We now have 42 people in our kingdom. We still need 53, I think? Is that what it said? No, 50. To, uh... Level up to level 3. And 35 facilities. 35 facilities isn't too difficult. I just gotta wait till I have enough uh, money. We're at 23, so. Huh. Okay. Now, what was I gonna do? I remember I was gonna, about to do something cost the coffers <laughs> so now by the way to load up the kingdom you need 10,000 no, yeah no a hundred thousand uh, kings guilders uh, we can only hold up right now to I forgot what it was, but we can hold 8,000 we still have to expand it to one more time to level 5, so we need Oh. I can't expand it unless I'm level 3 kingdom anyway. Hmm. Fuck. So they just expect you to hold on to it. Okay.
Hey. Alright, before we leave, I'm gonna check research topics one more time. I wanna just go over here and double check my spells. Holy shit. I need to do that as soon as I can. Coral U-blooms. Hmm. I need the Threading Bazaar for that one, though. Roland. Pressure drop. St a, a stunner. I mean, I'll learn it. She can learn it too. this up as much as I can. Balls of light. I don't think I have any other research going on besides this. Huh. minutes into this holy shit we haven't really done much hey yes all right that's enough uh, play time in the kingdom so let us head over to the boat Start heading towards Broadleaf. Over there. 
Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe one of these two is broadleaf. Saying any of the jumps are fine. Watch your backs! I should have just went over to the other place. Silly me. Oh, it's glowing now. That's what I thought, okay. Cave we can't get to. Here goes nothing. Here goes. Can I go over here? Uh, no, there's rocks in the way. I can't. This looks like a poisonous place. I'm just pointing out. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> 
enemies watch your backs <laughs> Watch your backs! Here goes nothing. Here goes. Make yourselves useful. Broadleaf. Is this place? Oh my! So the tower. This is the main city of Broadleaf. I've never seen anything like it. Hey! Yeah, I hear it's starting soon. Uh. Starting what is? Okay, right. You don't know. Watch the news. The anti-vector fa faction is holding a big demonstration. Wow. Really? Against the president? Yeah. Right? Just up the landing pad at Russell right here. We could take a look. 
You better do. Protest, huh? Guess the stories about people here being unhappy are true. I suppose we better go and take a look for ourselves. Trip door, don't mind if I do. Fancy trash bins. This is the general store. You look like a, an actual software engineer. Which is befitting this place. You look like a standard security hey. guard. Hey. Hey. Wrong button. In and switch solutions. Eatery battle. I want to see some swift solutions really quick because new town usually needs new things. So the inn is there. And over here. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Okay, now you have to probably way. have to complete the area to do that. It's very steampunk with digital signs, though. Let's go to Midtown. Worth it for Leander, but not so much on uh, yeah. 
keep buying. We should could buy more than one at a time. Huh, he does have a better one. That's fine. So called a rebellion too. Oh man, that ain't good. Dome Park trip door. Can't run the flowers. That's rude. You are unique. Something tells me. Yep. Okay, never mind. You know the name. Yeah.
right now. It's time, Bracken. Alright, we better start by thanking everyone for coming. Huh? Who are you guys? I haven't seen you around the company. Listen. Sorry, when things are about to get dangerous, you better leave. Oh. oh. We're rather hoping to, to go and meet with the president, Vector. What's all this about exactly? Uh, meet with the president? I don't think that's about to happen. Anyway, I'm Bracken. Bracken Meadows. I'm chief engineer here at Broadleaf Industries. I'm the one who gathered all the people here today. We're trying to, to make President Vector's family listen to what we have to say. Uh. We've got to get through to him to make him hear what the workers this company relies on have to say. Golly. Golly. He hasn't been the same since we started developing the perpetual fusion reactor. Doesn't care about anything except finishing the damn thing. Not even his employees' lives. Hmm. Some like twenty pe something like twenty people have already collapsed from overwork. These conditions they're unacceptable. Hmm? What kind of leader would do such a thing? Hey! Brecken, he's back. Alright, let's do this. Look! What is that thing? It appears to be an airship of some sort. Ugh, look at the face on it! We're ready when you are, Bracken. Just say the word. Thanks, Trey. Maybe now you'll listen, Zip. For too long, the President has been working us like slaves to get his perpetual fission reactor finished. But we have a message for him. We are not your slaves, Zip. We're not slaves! We're not slaves! We demand workers' rights. We demand fair treatment. We've had it with being worked half to death. No more reactor. No more overtime. We're not slaves! We're not slaves! Sounds like I'm gonna have to let some people go. See what happens to those who defy me! <laughs> Finally decided to make an appearance, huh, Mr. President? What a disappointment to see you leading this ragtag resistance. You know, I expected better of you, Bracken. I expected better of you, too. Have you forgotten what we said when we started out? We promised to make the world a better place, remember? And we will! The perpetual fission reactor will change the world forever! And the future will be mine to define! Even if it means trampling over everybody who helped you make it this far? You used to care about us. You used to be a leader people could trust. But that's all gone. Now it's progress or nothing, no matter the cost. When did you get so... Broken. Ha! I'm the broken one! Look at yourselves, stuck in the past, left behind by the march of progress. I don't need you anymore! <laughs> it is time.
That was Doran! Damn it, we're too late again. And now we got another king leader. Ah! Bracken, we have to get out of here. You're right. Yeah, I guess we do. Ah! You do it, Bastion. How dare you disobey me! Do you really think you can stop me? Well, let me tell you something, friend. Anybody who stands in my way... ...gets atomized! Looks like Bastion's gone. Kingmaker of Broadleaf. Never thought he would actually see the creature for ourselves. Hey. Hey, you said you were here to see President Vector, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. I am Evan, King of Evermore. It's, it's a new kingdom in the Heartlands. We've come to ask the President to sign a pact with us to join our union of friendly nations. Holy! Wait, I think I heard about you guys. Goldpaw and Hydropolis already signed up, right? And now you want us aboard, on board too? Well, I guess I don't need to tell you this, but now's not exactly a good time. Yeah. Let's say that again. If he's sending his keymaker on his own people, imagine what he'd do to us. <sighs> he didn't used to be like that. Bracken and me, we found this whole company with him. We know him better than anyone. It's, a it's the perpetual fusion reactor. Ever since we started working on it, he's been different somehow. Mm. You know, I wouldn't be that surprised if this was all Dolorin's doing. What or who or what is Dolorin? He's a strange masked man who's going around stealing the king's bond of all the world's greatest leaders. We saw him stealing the pres stealing President Vectors too. He populates people's hearts with an awful blackness so he can't can control them. I'm sure that's what must be happening to the president. Huh? You kidding me? Then we have to help him. Well, help too, of course. I'm sure there must be a way of bringing him back to his old self. No. Based on what we've seen and heard, it would seem that the president has been quite inf infected by Doran's evil influences. Queen Nera, being a highly skilled magical arts herself, was capable of resisting the darkness enough to res that restoring her to her senses was relatively a simple task. If I may be so bold. I somehow doubt that would be so easy in this case. <clears throat> Excuse me. Instead of you and the President Vector used to be close, didn't you, Bracken? Is there a way that you could remind him of those times, perhaps? Huh. Try to snap him out of it by jogging his memory, you mean? Yeah, that could work. Hmm. You want me to remind him of the good old days? Well, this might be... This he right here might be a good place to begin. It's where the three of us started all out all those years ago. We used to do all our work in the room right through there. Right through there. It's still just how we left it. Hmm. Such a place might hold a clue as how we might proceed. Would it be alright if we take a look at this workshop of yours, Bracken? Uh-huh. Sure, be my guest.
There you are. Hmm. Seems kind of small for when you compare it to the offices we have now. But everything that grew into the broadleaf ink we know today started here. Yeah, yeah. and Zip recorded every minute of it. That guy was obsessed. Yeah, it was his idea to leave the place just like it was forever too, huh? So he'd never forget where we came from. Mm. A fine sentiment to be sure. We sh shall have a little look around to see what we can find. I found this. Is this important? Huh. It's a memoless. A pretty old one. Must be behind, uh, left behind from back in the day. Oh. What's a memoless? Well, you take a crystal and run a tiny magical current through it to record visual data. Then you can run a light beam through it and focus it with a prism lens and watch the data back whenever you want. Which I mean in layman's terms, it's a device you can use to record memories. Oh, golly. We can watch them now, and the ones on this memolith, I mean? Uh -huh. Sure, let's play it back and see what we have here. Hey, Bracken? There's something up with this circuit. Can you take a look? Sure. Let me see. Yeah, I think you're getting some leakage right about here. Okay, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. I can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Me too. Wow. Oh, that was wow from way back when we first started out. Yeah! Perfect, then we can use it to jog the president's memory, right? Huh. I'd say so. Pictures, wor pictures worth a thousand words, after all. Sure, it would be good to have a couple more than this, uh, than just one to be sure, though. Are there any other memo lists from back then, Bracken? Hmm. Hmm. Zip was kind of hot on destroying sensitive data. If it wasn't essential to running, running the company, company, it pretty much got all wiped. But if I take a look in the database just, just now, it seems like there are four minerals unaccounted for. Which means there may be another three out there somewhere. If we could find them all, then we might be enough to jig, jig, jig his memory for sure. Seems a little unlikely that we're going to be just find them running, running around, though. You're right. Sure, it's unlikely, but I have an idea where we might, uh, might be able to maximize our chances. If those ones went, went missing, probably somebody probably lost them. So the first thing to do is to go where people are. Most people are. The factory. Alright, let's head for the factory and look for those memoliths. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out like this, you guys. Temporarily joins our party. Is she a fighter? Yes, she is. All right, Leander, you coming out? What does she use? Hammer. Oh, hammers and guns. Okay, so that's, that's our second female party member. Uh, what is her...
Cool. All right. that isn't plus five magic muffler yeah I'll do that all right let's leave her in the party for a little bit more do we have to go to? Oh, to the top. There's at least three more trip doors I haven't found too. Seem special. Say. Yeah, you have a name. What the? Sun Factory. The dungeon within the town. It's a Zing Dong Bell all over again. Find those memory stone containers of yours in a great cabin or a place like this, eh, girly? The memory lists are pretty small, right? Which means people lose them all the time. And that's not good when they're filled with sensitive data. That's why I created a handy little, little utility to scan the vicinity and find them. <clears throat> to you tell them what? Uh -huh. Thanks to our debt to the database, we know what the serial numbers of the memory lists that are missing. If they're here, we should see them soon enough. So I'm getting a reading nearby already. It's coming from the archive over there. The whole factory's on lockdown, so we'll need to fire up the boilers before we can get in there. Come on. Come on, I'll take you to the one on this floor. I'm sending the floor panel, so if you get lost, you can check your map. Wow. Robots here too? Uh-huh. Combat droids are designed to match humans in every way. That is sure, uh... Lovely. She's our last party member, it seems, because unless Lofty has a partner, there's not enough room. Q. 
Oh no. What are the things you're talking about? Uh huh. Yeah, we lighted the steam. Okay. Huh. Kindle spell. All right. So make sure is there anything? There's nothing there. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to get it off my fucking screen and it just went back. Here goes. Oh, 
Alrighty. Uh, you kind of make it instantly seeable. Zip! The launch was a disaster. Everybody hates it. Half the units we shipped have been returned. What? Why? Why? Damn it, my design was perfect! I'm sorry, Zip. This is the end for us, huh? We're finished. Man. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? You're gonna quit whining and start thinking. That's what. This isn't the end, it's the beginning. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. We nearly went under, right then and there. I can remember sitting up crying all night long. It was hard. But nobody did more to get us back on our feet than Zip. He was an inspiration. Gosh, dang it! Doesn't make any damn sense, the figures for the perpetual fission reactor. They're all over the place! Sorry. I'm sorry, sir, but with the prototype in the States, it's just not safe. Shut up! I don't shut, want to shut, hear shut. it. Just fix it. We need to finish that thing, and we need to finish it now. I don't care what it takes. Y yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. My head. Ugh. Never mind that. I'll never get the job done if I let this slow me down. Nobody takes a break. Not me. Not anyone. We'll work all night if we have to. I mean, that's some determination there. Alrighty. Alright, getting a signal for the next one. Next level up. It's in the smart stick lab. <laughs> you can tell us what exactly a smart stick is on the way. Let's get going. Let's go to work. Here goes. Second there, I didn't think you would die. You ready for this? Here goes. I hit the wrong button. Make yourselves useful. Shit, we are high. In a literal sense, not a uh, not figurative sense. Alrighty. Fire up. Where is it? No. It's another security measure. You can only control them with a panel of the same color. As if we came up with all the stuff, you know. He said it was only, only, so that only smart people enough, people smart enough to figure it out could get in. Well. So 
red and blue. Which means it's gonna be more of a pain in the ass. Careful, everyone! Yeah. Here goes! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Here goes. I don't know if I wanted to. No, I did not want to do that. It was way back. Way back, I didn't need. for this here goes oh my god this if I go back and you yeah. where did I come in? I came from there. Basically all I can do is use the one next to me because that, that way I can't go yet. current position to get the uh to the to the lab Holy sh...
I can only go up to level 10. So I'm maxed there. So what have we got right now? I got. Yeah, sure. I need one more battle point to uh, level it up one more time. <laughs> now red's activated. to go back. Red once at least. Just begin respawning to. I'm 
another one. It's finally ready! Behold, the all-singing, all-dancing smart stick! With one of these revolutionary devices, anyone can be a wizard. No more magic monopoly for the casting classes. Now, there'll be spells for everybody! You did it, Zip. Congratulations! Hey, hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I won't. Thank you, all of you. We were a team back then. We all thought the same way, wanted the same thing. How did it all go so wrong? Um... President Vector, the reactor, there's been an explosion. What? What did you say? Well, you see... An explosion. They were trying to remove an injured to safety, but we're, we're trying to remove the injured to safety. We're too busy to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn about the injured. What about the reactor? Is it damaged? Y yeah. Yes, but only a little. You shouldn't set us back too far if we... Uh-huh. Good, then replace the team members you lost and continue to work. No one needs to rest until it's fixed. Get your guys together and go to work. What is with you with this reactor? Is it like going to save the world? Just one more left uh -huh. to find. It's another floor up. Huh. Alright, I just want to double check. Moving on. Something don't seem right here. Songbook. Why have this giant? Well, you can come down from there. That makes sense. Ah. I mean, this dang door is the biggest pain of them all. In what way? Well. Through there is where we make a lot of stuff that hasn't been announced yet. It's all top secret, so the security's extra tight. See the three lights above? The door won't open unless all three are lit. Which means finding all three lock switches. More ballistic convenience, contrivances, and contraptions. This is the only thing. One thing after another with your swabs. Why back in Cloud Coil Canyon, we were having two planks and a latch. <laughs> Tanya looks like she wants to murder everyone right now. Like, just look at her face. She wants to kill everyone. I guess the fact you're willing to throw people off cliffs for setting your foot in the place probably helped keep prying eyes at me, though. <laughs> you bet it did. Yeah, now Alrighty. Just... All right, let's find the switches. Is it been his fucking security? What is he, fucking Mark Zuckerberg? Oh wait. It's a single one. Oh. I mean, to be fair, the thing is called Leaf Book. Probably is.
two cases, huh? One for blue, one for ner. Fight. Here goes nothing. They're all my level, so it's pretty worth it to fight. And chest. Revives. I'm really happy to know why you stuck over there, Hagley. Really happy we know what the, uh, the, the healing items are. So this is the blue. Listen. Oh. There's a Hinkley stone. You're not gonna let me. It'd be too easy. Huh. 
Alright, let's light up the second one. I probably got the last one, not the second one. Proper posh stuff, nothing taken out. I mean, this is the only thing I says the milk. taken out. that do for me? for this thing, but okay. Production line. Okay, okay, listen, everybody. We've brought a string of hit products to market that have changed the world forever. 
And thanks to all of your hard work, now we've built this too. Our revolutionary new campus, the Treehouse! And that's not all the good news. We just added our 315,639th team member, which means we're not a company anymore. We're a nation in our own right. Soon, we'll be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Woo, yeah! We're with you, Zip! Vector! 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 What a day. A company that started out in a shack got big enough to build this place got so big that it became an actual country. He had a vision for the treehouse. He wanted to build a place where people could live happy and work happy. And dang it if he didn't do just that. I had my doubts, you know. He was a different person back then. He had a smile for everybody. Where did the old zip go? Ah. Zip, uh, we have um, an issue. I mean, uh, we're facing a challenge. Yeah. It's a, not about the reactor. I don't want to hear about it. We can worry about it later. Well, you see... There are intruders down on the flag three floor, sir. Yeah! Then get rid of them and stop bothering me. More people have passed out. You think I have time to worry about your stupid intruders? It's, is that my job, too? I'm Zit Vector, remember? Inventor of perpetual fusion react inventor of the perpetual fusion fission reactor reactor. I can't talk today. The guy who pays your wages. That's all the memoirs. And I'm just stuff show them the prison of Vector. There's, there's one more I want to show him. But I said there's, you said there's only four. Uh -huh. There were four listed as missing, but there's one more. It's a personal record. It's in the CEO's office up ahead, chief engineer's office. I'll tell you more when we get there. So, your office. That is not a fucking boss room. I don't know what it is. Cause just look at it. Just like, just look at it. Giant, spacious, circular center. Whenever you see a video game, this is always a fucking boss. Always, always, always. Alright, let's save. Let's see how right I am. Let's see how well I can, I can uh, read the fucking game developers at level five. Or any R RPG fucking developer, except for, uh, Tabata, because 15 was different, in a way. <laughs> Welcome to where I work and sleep sometimes. Feels like I've been here a long time. Just grab that memolus. Brecken's personal log. Golly. Come on. Something tells me you love Zip. Really? Take a step to the road. Oh. Blimey! What's going on? So it hasn't been too keen to on us coming knocking. What did I fucking say? Here 
Here it goes. Here it goes. I missed it. Oh, you can say Don't let me down. I owe you one. Oh, you were not. No, yeah, you're not. business and it's gone now let's go see zip swift plunder bus okay she already equipped it there's so many guns I need to sell again thanks for the memoless is that I guess that's a pun thanks for the memories because you know memoless memories King's Cradle. Zip, we need to talk. God. 
really? So you're the intruders? Makes sense, I guess. Who else would have gotten around my security measures but you, right, Bracken? President Vector, there's something you need to see. Yeah. Huh? Show him the memo list, Bracken. Time for a trip down memory lane, Zip. Can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. Hey, hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I won't. Soon, we'll be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Uh, I was... Why was I... I, I, I don't... There's one last memory I want to show you. Please. You have to remember who you used to be. You have to bring the old Zip back. Uh, so I stayed up all night making this for you? <laughs> How about that, huh? A custom leg made just for you by the world's greatest engineer. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. This isn't my leg. I want my leg. I want my... No, I, I, I get it, Bracken. I, I get that you're upset, but... We're engineers. We solve humanity's problems. We use technology to help people. That's our purpose. That's what we do. Now, do you, do you really want a, a little thing like this to stop you from fulfilling that purpose? I... We solve humanity's problems, and we solve each other's, too, right? Um, you lose a leg, I make you a new one. I lose a hand, well, you know, I, I hope you do the same for me. Oh, Zip. And this leg... It's not just a machine. I put my heart and soul into it. It's, it's, uh, it's a part of me. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm your boss. It's my job. I... Look, Zip, look at it! You've seen the things we can do these days. I could have upgraded it. I could have gotten rid of the leg you made me. But I would never do that. This leg? This leg is what gave me the courage to carry on. What got me where I am today. I, 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 I... You were the best engineer, the best boss, the best friend anyone could have. You had a good heart. The best. You have to remember. You have to. I... I remember now. I... I remember everything. What... what... what have I done? Zip? It's you, isn't it? The real you. You're back. Bracken, I... I'm so sorry. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I, I ever would have remembered. Everything's shaking! Oh no! Bastion!
Bash is back online. Damn it, if he reaches the reaction, he could trigger a total mental meltdown. If it happens to Broadleaf and everything around him, it will go in an instant. Be gone in an instant. What? what? Then we have to stop him. We'll have to find him first. He's equipped with full optical camouflage. I can't see him on any other of my monitors, but judging by the patterns of the interference, he's a good chance he's on the top of the tower. The elevator will take us to the roof. Come on. Bastion Unbound. You mean me? Oh shit. Blimey! Well. <sighs> Are we gonna get to the top now? <clears throat> mm. Calm down, everybody. There must be a way. Think. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it. If we can divert enough power into the reactor's high pressure inlets, it might just generate a field of significant, significant integrity to trigger a pattern G chain reaction. Of course. We need, we need, which would need to en enable us to turn light into solid matter. Maybe only temporarily, but still. We could use it to make a kind of stairway to the top. <laughs> Good to have you back, Zip. One of the old you could have thought of something like that in a pinch. But there's just one thing. I know. It's only a hypothesis. Hypothesis. But that will have to do. Attention all team members! I need you to channel all available power into the reactor's high-pressure inlets right now! But, but, President Vector, they weren't designed to take that kind of punishment. And you know what that means better than anybody. The reactor will go critical and the core will fuse. In other words, we'll wind up with the world's most expensive hunk of junk. You sure about this, Zip? She's your baby. It's that, or risk the lives of every person in this country. You think I'd hesitate for even one second? I'm the executive director of this company and the leader of this nation. Nothing is more important than my people. So flood the damn tubes! That's an order! Yes, sir. For Broadleaf. Okay, now it's a literal stairway to heaven. Channels and high pressure inlets. All right. Nice work, everybody. Now we get out of here and get people somewhere safe. But sir, the reactor is totally unstable. If we need now, there'll be nothing to. Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? If anyone in this country can keep that thing under control, it's me. Mr. President, on your own? Ha! Huh. Sure, on my own. I could do it with my eyes closed. You really mean it, dude, don't you? Well, Alright then. Make sure everyone else makes it out okay. Good luck, Mr. President. I'll stay here and look after the reactor. If I put a single foot wrong, it's good night for all of us, but I won't. You guys go shut Bastion down. I'll handle things here. We'll leave right away. Good luck. Come on. All right, let's go. On the stairway to heaven. He's got to be around here somewhere. Um. Oh. Oh. Go for the legs, Evan. The legs. It's the only way to take him down.
one. Here goes. Oh shit. She went down. Rockin'. So fast. Attacks, but how can this be happening? Flip! I don't know, but we better get out of here. We sheepish or sharpish, I should say, not sheepish. No, Evan, Evan, what you got out of your sleeve, Evan? I understand now. A leader must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do, but I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Not again. Not ever. Uh, Evan, call. Flipping Eggman, I am buzzing. Yeah, goes nothing. Lofty, is it, is it really you? Amazing, you're amazing. Bastion doesn't stand a chance. Go on, Lofty, show us your true power.
We're by ourselves. Oh shit. Hey. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I got distracted. Platforming boss, this is interesting. Alright! Okay, thanks. Was just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers! <laughs> it seems that you're only able to maintain your dragonly form for a short while, Lofty. Exactly. My theory is that the King's Bond was strengthened, but only just enough. So you're able to regain your original form, Lofty. But only for a very short while. What? But, but, if having gives more, king, gets even more kingly and the bond gets stronger, I'll be able to do it for longer, right? Maybe even forever in the end. Go on, my son! Uh, Evan, get your kingly head, get king your head off, my lad. That's an order. <laughs> <laughs> I will. So I believe you managed to take down Bastion. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't. There's no way it would have been able to prevent the core from melting down, that's for sure. <laughs> well, all is all is well that ends well. You didn't have to scare me with all that talk about the whole kingdom being wiped out. Ugh. Sorry, I uh, I can't believe things turned out this way. I built a reactor to try and help people to make life better, but instead I put everyone in danger. I'm no president. I don't deserve to run this country. How is it? What's that? Hey! Listen, everybody. Hmm? Come on, Zip, we're behind you. Vector, Vector, Vector. Crocodile. But, but I... Don't deserve to run this country, huh? I think the people might have something to say about that. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world. Real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. Do you guys have an official technology partner?
Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we, we stand, stand as, as one single, single land. land. So he's looking to bring back this Horned One, and you're looking to stop him? Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? That could be difficult. Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not gonna back down. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word as president of Broadleaf. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? Yes, Mr. President. Just as you ordered. But is that really all right? Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? Sure, and she'll be important to yours too. I could hardly send some second-tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? You heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. From hair clips to airships, I'm your gal. So President Vector was freed from the grip of his obsession, and Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows, whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. So Lottie finally showed his true power. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf, too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sure he'll put his people first from now on. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I've a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. This is what you need, right? <gasps> so, you managed to acquire it. Not that I expected any less. You are nothing if not dependable. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We good to go then. Who's there? Um... Crikey! <laughs> Chapter 7, A Traitor in Our Midst. We 
you what what are you wanting, Curse? You have plenty to keep me busy without your little words in my ear. Sorry, boss, but it's unimportant. You do want to hear this. You see. It was about me business in the castle late last night when I happened to come upon a fishy scene indeed. A shady character clad in all robes. Chin wagon with old Roland there. Be mistaken. It was more than pleasant changes of the change in hands. It seemed like more like a state secret to me. Puh. Roland, what poppycock is this in your peddling man? Were you sleeping on the job and having yourself a little dream? I swear, boss. I swear. I swear it on my life. What inspired me to look in there and listen to He came after me with a fierce black as, face black as thunder. Hmm. I don't believe such things without proof. You seem convinced. Maybe. That's for certain. Keep a weather eye on the swab and see you what we can see. Aye. Aye, aye, boss. What was Roland planning? As all the tweaks to the research facilities implemented, Your Majesty, we made a few improvements that should help ensure that you're pretty much future proof for now. Wow. Saber, I can things have been impressively far. have come impressively far. Impressively fast since you arrived in the town. <laughs> of course they have. Why else would you have made me Minister of in Ingenuity? Hmm. Bracken is an asset indeed. We have made precious little headway on the other areas. At least not the question of how to encourage Ding Dong Dell to sign the declaration. Mm. Yeah, we can't even get close to them, let alone convince them to hear us out. And with the horns one resolution surely gro gro growing closer with every passing day, we simply can't afford to let those petty differences divide us. Hmm. Hmm. Forgive me. There's something I wish to speak about with you all about. Unfortunately, there are some recent events within the realm that have... Mm -hmm. What was that noise? Zip! Hey, you guys! Room for one more? How's it going? Hey! That was quite an entrance, Zip. What do we owe the pleasure? Well, we just got done fixing up probably after all the uh, trouble, so I thought maybe I could offer you guys a little help. That's right, the greatest brain in all the world looking out for you. Look at you, right? My first gift to you will be free use of the zipline. Fly, my friends, the skies are yours now. What? Your airship, really? Blimey! Amazing. Think about how we can. How many of us can cram that thing? We don't fly around when there's no wind. Exactly. Sure will, kiddo. And I've upgraded the gold girl with miniaturized perpetual fusion reactor. She's zippier than ever. In all sense of the word. Uh, um, yeah, I was going to mention that. <laughs> Zippy right, mom. Very ugly mug plastered all over the front of it. Oh, I was trying to not think about that. Hmm. I wonder if that would be something of an issue. Hey. Timmy, right? Ugly mug? I don't know if you know one of the most mathematically well proportioned faces ever studied. Um. I want to say, if, if I wonder if I, I wonder if it might be less conspicuous without the face in the front. Man. Really? You two, Evan, you're breaking my heart here. Listen. Zip, it's not, it's just, uh, it's not about just what it looks like. Do you something think about the air resistance? That thing must cause a heck of a lot of drag. Sorry, but it's coming off. Come on. Come on, time to go to work. But, 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 but you, you can't just... Aw, oh, man. Owen, what are you up to? Wow. Okay. I understand you made me forcibly control Evan in the party. Whoops. But if I have someone in the lead, don't fucking take them out of the lead. That annoys the shit out of me in any game. And six points. And I'm about to hit level 45 anyway. Alright. Hmm. 
strange. Hmm. Is it in here? No. Hmm. All right, well, let's just head outside for a moment. Six for a minstrel spear. Would Hello. Great six for something Hi. else, like iron armor or some shit. Mm. You guys loved it last time, right? Chieftain's cloak. Only one other quest. Let's go do that. the kingdom. You're basically almost full. All right. Bracken. Hey there. Bias. Yeah. Need to level up? No. Fluffy brown hair and rounded ears. And it's a god. Oh, I just gotta buy Venomy guns. I only need two more. Come to do some shopping, eh? Yeah. Um. Don't tell me. What else can I do? For I'll be seeing you again then. Hello there. No. An alchemy circle. You've got to have it. Come to do some shopping, eh? Sleepy gun, jingle weed. Maybe I'm just not high level up yet. What else can I do for you? I'll be seeing you again then. Okay. So only Bracken right now hasn't 
to an engineer, she'd work in any weapon or armor making. Should put you in the armory, honestly. I'll have to go back and get the uh, citizens I can over there anyway. Let's just leave because there's probably a cutscene or a little thing outside. And if it lets me go back to, um. to the, uh. to Broadleaf immediately, then I will do all the recruitment I can between episodes and side quests that are important. Uh, hi. Alrighty. To make some modifications. Come on, Bracken, not the face. Anything with that. What's the big idea? Stay away, Zip. Sorry. I just need to get rid of this. Try to place it with this. Let's see. A little adjustment here and there, and. Woo! Yeah! Voila! Perfect. Even if I do say so myself. Ah! Uh... Zip win. Well, too late to worry about it now, I guess. She's all yours. Pressing triangle. Great space in that before you will access certain spots you haven't been able to reach until I'm flying around. Press, simply press X to initiate the landing sequence. Okay. A little favor. Mm. Sure, what is it? Uh, it's like to see, uh,. Well, now I gave you the zipline, I kind of don't have a right home. Would you mind taking me back to Broadleaf? Call it a test flight. And the place around there is fine, just as long as I don't have to walk the whole way. Thanks, pal. So that's our test flight. Alright, before we end the episode off... King of the Skies. There's something I want to grab. That's been tantalizing me since I saw it. Hey. Oh, you're not gonna let me at all. Hey. Okay, fuck you. All right. Well, I'll get that can uh, that uh, thing off camera then. Cause I just want to have free access with this thing. Thanks. Thanks, guys. How about that zipline, huh? She flies like a dream. Look after her now, you hear? Ready on me, artist? Homeward we go. Wait, Zip arrived right when Leander was about to tell us something, didn't he? What was he wanting to say? Yes. Let's return home first. We need to talk there. 
Mm. Cool. Alright. Let me get the thing I want now. Shipwright shirt. The fuck is it? Oh, is it someone's costume? Nope, not like that. Yes, it is. It's for bot two. Oh god. Why would I fucking allow you to wear this? No. Okay. With that said, let's head back over to, um... Evermore. Yes. 225. Uh, well, let me talk to him to activate the cutscene or will just happen. Or just finished. Oh, you finished. Yeah, it's worth it. Huh. Okay, so we can talk to him to progress the story. And you're being sad. Alright, I will talk to you. Well, not talk to you. Uh, I will see you guys next time on Nino Cody 2 where we will continue the story with Leander and his news. Hopefully, Roland is not a traitor, because I like playing as him. I think this is his story more than Evan's. Um, see you guys next time. Oh, and I will go to Broadleaf to get any people in side quests I can to give me more people. See you guys then.